Not your typical flash drive? Let me explain. Welcome back to the channel. So I'm gonna show you a couple things that this little flash drive can do. It's pretty special compared to some of these other flash drives, so stay tuned for that, all right? Now, a couple weeks ago, I did a video on this right here. This is an SSK SD500. Now, I thought this was one of the smallest SSD drives you can buy. Very good price. Check out that video. I'll have it linked in the description as well. But here we go. This is what it looked like before, and it was pretty small. Look at that thing. And you could get up to a terabyte, or I think two terabytes, or maybe just one terabyte. But it was really inexpensive and a great, you know, flash drive by, or I guess, an external SSD drive by SSK right there. So I kind of misspoke though, because I found something smaller. In my quest to find the smallest, smallest, smallest kind of hard drive out there, I came across this right here. And this is actually the SD300. And it's, if you can see it, I'll show you close-ups as I'm talking, but it's about the size of a stick of gum, <laughs> or a gum pack right there. Very small, right? So I want to kind of get into why this thing's so special and why it's way better than all these other flash drives you may actually pick up if you're thinking about buying a flash drive. Don't do it and pick maybe up something like this. So let's get into the video. I'm going to show you all this stuff, including some speed tests. I'm going to wrap this up quickly because it's just one little drive. Let's get into it. All right, so first of all, everyone knows like these typical flash drives. Here's one from Micro Center. I got Samsung ones here, these little ones. They typically don't perform that good, right? So you pick these things up and you always expect something like this. Take a look over here. Here's a speed test of just a you know typical flash drive that you'd normally get. Now watch the speed in this thing. You can see it here. It starts off you know 115 megabytes per second, very promising. But what's gonna happen very quickly is after you just transfer a little bit of data, you can see it here, it's gonna go down and down and slow and it's going down. So you're gonna probably top and a lot of even these good ones, you're gonna be around the 40 or 50 megabytes per second. See it there? This one's even going lower. I'm gonna stop it there. So that's one of the problems with this. It goes pretty slow, right? So I ended up searching for this one right here. And this is actually, again, the SSK SD300 right there, actually. And let me go ahead and pull up the price or the actual page here so I can give you some specs on this thing because it's actually pretty impressive. So I actually have the 128 gigabyte version. So I bought the smallest version. And this is only $22.99, 23 bucks. And I'll have links in the description. And then there's one for 256 gigabytes, $32.99. There's a 512 for $39.99. And finally, a one terabyte for $59.99. And that's probably the sweet spot, all right? What makes this so special? Stay tuned here. First of all, it's made out of like bulletproof metal. It weighs a ton. I mean, it's actually, you could probably hurt somebody throwing this at them. It's really, really heavy, right? Now it says it's rated at 550 megabytes per second. And we're gonna put that to the test and also see if it can sustain that for a longer period of time. Stay tuned for that. Um, it's basically USB 3.2 Gen 2. Now the key part here is it comes with a just a USB A on this side, all right? And I'll show you close-ups, but it does come with a connection piece if I can find it somewhere here, and I can't actually find it. Oh, it's actually in the back of there, but it does come with the connection piece. I'll show you pictures of it that actually lets you lets it go to USB C, and that's actually just a it's a dongle that you stick on there, a little piece that you stick on, and it makes it USB C compatible. Works perfect as well, all right? But they're rating it at 550 megabytes per second. It says it works with obviously Mac, MacBooks, or Macs, Windows, Android, um, and Linux as well. Um, so long story short, as we're kind of talking here, it says that it's got this kind of stable reading and writing speed. So it's known. It says it's it's known for that. It's not going to dip like a lot of SSDs do after you have sustained reading and writing on the SSD. So I wanted to put that to the test. So let's go ahead and check that out, and we'll see how good this thing is. Now I'm not giving you a full review. I just want to let people know I do product showcases, and I do them for a reason. I've only had this for a small amount of time, and I'm just showing you the product. All right, I'm showing you how it performs. My test initially. You make your own decisions if you want to buy it. I'm not recommending this. I I will have links in the description, but do your own research. But let's just see how this thing is. All right, so I'm gonna start the first test here. And let's see how this performs. Go ahead and click on it. Looks like it's actually 382 on the right. It's not too bad at all. And it looks like it's gonna be about 437.7 on the reads. We'll do one more test here. 372.9 there on the right. And then finally, we'll do 437.7 on the reads. So as you can see, this thing is getting close up to 500 on the reads. And it stays, let's just see, now we, we, we have to do one more test. Now, obviously, you saw how this thing just dropped off, the old one I showed you, or the, the kind of the cheap one. It drops off, and that didn't do it here. It actually was, you know, a move, but that doesn't tell us a lot, right? So let's go ahead and transfer some information here. And I think, let me go in here. I have some information I want to test, and I'm going to show you guys if this drops off or not. Let's do a test here now. 
All right, so let's try the test here. Now, here's the files I'm gonna do right here, and that's about five, 5.2 gigabytes of data right there. So you can do the math on this. I'm gonna drag all those files over to the drive here, and I'm gonna drop them right in here, this little flash drive. Now watch this. So here it's going, it's sustaining, it's going up, you know, you can see it says it's about 10 seconds left. It keeps going, it's at about 2.82, 3.0, you got, you got the idea here. As it keeps going though, it takes about 11 to 12 seconds only to transfer 5.2 gigabytes. You can see that there was no drop off in speed there. It worked pretty flawlessly for such a small flash drive like this. And I'm pretty impressed just initial reviews. It did get a little warm, just keep in mind that it does get warm. I don't know how that's gonna be long term on it. Just keep that, you know, obviously I'm just giving you the notes here. I'm not recommending anything because I haven't been able to test this long enough. I'm just showcasing it, but at the end of the day, it performs pretty darn good for the size of it, and it's way, way better than these other flash drives. All right, so obviously a couple weeks ago I found this thing and I thought it was the smallest. Now this thing's the size of a stick of gum or as big as a Tic Tac case, a lot smaller actually than that. So if you're looking for something very small, made like a tank, has the USB-A and USB-C dongle on it, so you can go to either or, and it's just super easy to carry around, and they get this size up to the one terabyte for that you know inexpensive price that I showed you. Not a bad deal, but do your own research. I just want to showcase the product, like I said. And at the end of the day, this is what this channel is all about. I just try to show you products that usually don't get the limelight that much, that the big channels don't do. Post in the comments if you like this product. If you have any questions, I'll try to answer them. And we'll talk to you soon. Peace.